today is the day. I am feeling a thousand times better. My back is not hurting in any which way, shape or form. It's gonna be time to get on up there and get this thing rolling. I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> All right, let's get it. We're gonna just jump right into it. I've already got my story poles made. One for me, one for Mel. They're exactly 16 on center, marked, laid out, four of them. It's good enough work area where we can set it, mark, move on. Sounds you know what good. I mean? I've already got mid here with the mid of the roof, which it's really easy to find that measurement. You basically grab from the corner, come over this way, and try to find an even number just because it's that much easier. I did 254 inches. I marked it here, 254 inches, pulling from that corner all the way over. Wherever that is, measure that out, find the middle. There's your middle. Do the same thing on your roof, find the middle. There you go. You got the middle point from here, middle point here. When you lay the joists, everything should be plumb and square. What we're gonna do, since these are all marked out, I've got it already laid out for the two right here. Okay, wait a minute, let me climb up there with you. And, and you real quick, up. Gary and I did kind of do a thing. You might notice that it's a lot more zip boarded down here than it used to be. This is the best that we could do. <laughs> All right, let me come up here. Mm -hmm. So what are we looking at? So we got this middle point right here. I've already measured exactly where we needed to go so I can figure out where my first choice is gonna be. That's this mark. This right here, now what we can do is set it right here where this joist is. Mark, mark at the ends of the boards as well as on all the lines. This makes it to where we don't have to pull out a tape measure. We can reference straight to the lines and that will be 16 on center. And we can just continue down the line by shimming this thing over, continue marking, marking and it should stay it should keep everything exactly where it needs to be. You're so smart. Well, that was a great idea. I didn't come up with it, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot of comments saying, we should just do this. Sometimes it's good to do it. Sometimes it's uh, more of a headache, you know? Either way, it was a good idea. It's no. a good idea. I have scrap wood now, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to have to have you do this on this side, and I'll do it up on the top side. Okay. You know, and that will get me to a point where what we're going to do is try to get, you know, the post and start working from the post over because there is a little discrepancy in that aspect. Yeah. <laughs> Which that's going to be fun. But if we work on top of the post, we can just plumb the post, you know, and then work that however we need to work it. And hopefully by the time we get over to the post, it'll be easy to plumb up.
Can go that way. Get, get. No, I know. Get that. I have used my story pull, gotten my layout, figured out where all my 16 on center rafters are underneath, triple checking everything while I'm laying everything out. And as I'm up here, I'm like, you know what? I could go ahead and lag every single one of these joists on each one of these band boards. I don't think it's gonna be uh, really worth it in the long run. <laughs> Mainly because the main meat of the joist set is you know, hanging everything to as well as where I'm going to be tying my hurricane strap to is this bottom band board. So I just want to really focus on this bottom band board more so than these. So that way I can really adhere it to the roof and make sure that that when I do do my, all my hurricane straps, it's not for nothing. <laughs> so basically I could go through and hit every single one on the joist and lag it down fully. I'm not sure if I have enough lags um, for it. So I'm gonna go a little bit above still on like what they say per code and everything where I am. It might be different where you are. Um, I'm not a professional, this is a, a how to. So <laughs> definitely advise professionals when doing stuff like this. Um, but this is what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. What I'm doing is right where the board meets instead of trying to lag both of these down in the middle creating a point where it's going to split it's this board's already starting to split it's treated wood it tends to happen um so what i ended up doing is just, i'm going to come out a little bit from where this is connecting or butting together and lag that down from there and then i'm going to go about four feet out do another uh, rafter and lag that down do another four feet out and lag it down and make sure that I'm hitting basically a really good point on the ends as well as in the middle so that way it ain't it ain't going nowhere now <laughs> this this is the lag I'm using it's got a head so I got to counter sink all of them or else me going crazy with all the angles trying to get it as flush as possible it's not going to be as flush if I have something protruding up and out of the wood. So <laughs> I've been countersinking them a little bit, getting them all in there. And we're, we're ready to head up and uh, start putting up some of these rafters. And I am right in line with this first post. So I think we're going to get this rafter in and we're going to start working that way to the crazy hip over there, mainly just because we already have a few rafters here and I can easily work that way. So we're gonna work that way and get all those in and then we'll come back over here and fill it in going that way. And we'll be able to take out all the bows and craziness and whatnot. So <laughs> it should be pretty interesting, I'm not gonna lie. First things first, we're gonna have to hop back down there, get everything get the level, get Mel on the same page, and uh, set you guys in a good spot to where you guys can see what's going on. So, let's get it. They are light compared to everything else we do.
Nope, nope, nope. Oh, so we are. By me? Nope. We're gonna. So, nope. On that. Right. Nope, nope. Down. Right there. On that line. I see it. good two on that one this is the starting one and that is all the way up this way too by the way too right yes buttered up yes okay okay so that right here should keep this straight yeah this is plumb now this, post. this should stay plumb mm-hmm from here on because we've attached this right. right so now what we can do is we can get that brace out of here yes this brace, that brace should get out of here i think i need your screwdriver i'll take it out and that frees up that brace solid that makes me happy so now that does look like it's plumb straight with that rafter so we're good there okay See that screw head that's right there? Yeah. Right, right there. Put it in about that bottom. Over here, move it, move it out a little from that area. Go closer to the camera. Get closer. I'm not gonna be able to get it in there. Get close uh, a little. Now we got that wedged in there. Mm -hmm. I'll, try I'll, I'll hold. Time. I will. Okay, real quick. Come back here with the ladder and look you sight down it. Look down it. I wanna see how how straight your eyes are. <laughs> see how bad it see how close you get it. You look at the sight it down the bottom of the beam, and what you're doing is looking down the posts. And looking down the side of the beam or that the bottom of the beam and the top of the beam to see this is straightened out but over by where the post is it's still bowing this way just a little yeah so what's, this middle part is straight that middle part is straight mm -hmm. but that part right there by the next beam is coming out to here
heart's being mm. straight and then the heart is straight. Well, we might be pushing it more now, huh? Mm -hmm. Which can be fixed out if we take my side of the board and bring it this way. It'll loosen it up just a little bit. That is nutty. Oh yeah? So, let me... Ooh, that looks way better. That looks way better. You want it here? Does it hold? Mm hmm Okay. Is your hand moving or? Not really. I'm trying to hold it still. I mean, it's wiggled a little, but. Watch your head. So things are getting serious now, babe. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are we hooked up to? We're hooked up to a, you know, false wall beam, even though, uh, like I said, false wall. <laughs> that ain't gonna get pulled out, though. And I think I might be there. I don't know. I don't know how much I gotta pull out of this guy. I really don't think it's going to be a whole lot. Let's see. It's getting closer and closer the more we manipulate it. So. Ooh. I do that gas. I mean, I can give it two more clicks. Well. There's one beam, you know, straightened out as best as we are going to be able to get it straightened out. But it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's pretty straight. I mean, that's, 
That's pretty good. Way better than it was. Mm -hmm. The back end over there, we're going to have to manipulate it a little bit more. But this main part is a lot straighter. So, Heck yeah. It should, uh, should hold a lot better and be a lot better. But we can hook up the four that are missing right in that area. And then now we can come over here and start going down this line yeah. and start messing and manipulating with all these beams. <laughs> Semi-slow going is still moving forward, so right. I'm rolling with it. I'm really happy with how it's going. I was honestly very nervous about all the bows. The very far back one still has me on my toes, and that rhymed, and I didn't mean for it to, but <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're still getting it. <laughs> yeah, we'll be, we'll be able to get her, you know. And uh, it's just going to be a little little back and forth for it. You yep. know? We're going to have to work for it. That's, well, that's the thing. we got to work for it. Everything in life, man, we have to fight for. It's, it Why is would what this it be is. different? <laughs> it is what it is. I'd rather fight for something that I love and enjoy. So. That's right. That's right. All right. Yeah. Next, Joyce. Next, Joyce. Let's do it. So we want to go under, over, 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 over. All, the, all of these. Until I can turn it up. Can you turn it to seat it? out of the way. You can just try to get them as flat as you can next to each other. Yeah, so that way we could feather them out. You are in the perfect spot. Okay. So Sounds I'm good. I'm going to bring to you. Sounds good. And try to help. This one, here, we'll put it. In there. This one's gonna go there.
Sweet. Yay. Got a nice row done. Fill this guy in. Say when. Row four. Mess with that. So we are on the second section of the band board and everything, and it is also bowing like this. So I'm gonna wedge this piece of two by four in between the house and that and push it straight <laughs> and get it to where I'm just, I'm just siding it by eyeball. I'm not going all crazy with the string line or anything else like that, but I'm getting it as close and as good as possible with what I'm doing and working out really, really well. It's all the same, some things have changed. I couldn't stop and say enough. You know. It's all the same, but you won't take blame. Even when you are blowing up. Oh my, oh my, you're my broken love. Nobody's gonna save her now.
things are a lot bigger. Hold on to it. Can get up there? Yeah. All right. Nothing like your life flashing before your eyes to really wake you up. It's all good. I just did the uh, Mario Brothers booty pound. Nothing's broken. Everything's fine. Don't know what happened. All the wheels were locked. I'm not sure what happened, but uh, we're awake. That could have been really bad. You know, I'm really thankful that it wasn't. And I'm glad that we put the board down. I would have been through the hole. Yeah. However... The only reason why I brought this out is because the board's down. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. So, yeah, I don't know. This is, this one's being a little bit of a challenge. This hip rafter. And you got your hip, that's for sure, on the hip rafter. Look at the scaffolding damage. Dang, dude. I'd say we're earning it today. Oh my goodness. That's going to leave a mark. This 45 don't want to don't want to play right. The cardinal came over here. Huh? The cardinal's over here right now. You hear it? I think we'll be all right. That's a solid bean. I hate to do it, but after that fall, I'm making an executive decision and we're gonna, for the rest of the day. I don't want her to hurt herself any more than she already just did. That was terrifying for me and you both. I already know what went through your head and the whole aspect. That's, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. A scary, that's scary stuff, man. My life just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Some scary, scary stuff. Uh, but hey, you know what? It's all good. I know I'm going to be feeling it tomorrow, but there's no use on keep pushing today, to be honest with you, because that was a little too close for comfort and we are starting to get a little woozy. So we're going to wrap it up for today. But on the positive note, friends, look at all of those freaking rafters hung. That looks amazing. Look at all the shade it's casting. Right I know. Here. There's so <laughs> much shade. It's like a pergola up here. It is. It I is. love it. Oh man, that's it's pretty crazy. We're at a point though. It's we got that beam in. Mm -hmm. That beam's installed, but it's all intricate cuts from there. Yeah. So, so essentially, what we're gonna get back with tomorrow, right? We're gonna come back out and get back on this again tomorrow. 
We've got probably about another two of these joists that are already cut and stained and ready to go that we got to throw over on that side um, to fill in the gap. And then once we throw those two up over there on that side, then it's going to be all those like sideways pieces of um, joist, kind of like what we did over here. I know it's hard to see because we covered it with the zip board for us to walk on, but if you can see this side, how it's going out and then you got the straight pieces kind of coming, that's essentially what's going to be over here. Let me walk over here. The way that it's filled in right here is essentially going to be the same way right here. So another straight piece is there and then they're also going to be straight, but they're going to be coming off of those kickers like that, like that. Bada bing, bada boom. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's coming together really nice. I'm, I'm digging it. It's uh, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> I'm, I'm just amazed on how this is all coming together. Little by little. Little by little. Little by little. <sighs> it only took you know weeks of prep. <laughs> weeks of prep. There was a lot of prep for this, but I think we did a bang bang out job today. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Well, friends, when we do get back to work, uh, we're going to start probably right over there, finish off like I was just saying, and then we'll come over here and we'll work on this side. This side is definitely going to give us uh, a little hell for sure, because this board, as you guys can see, is very, very wonky. It looks even more wonky from the top view, but I'm not climbing any on any more ladders today, friends. I'm sure you guys understand. It's, it's doing one of these numbers. Yeah. So once we get that beam up there... We'll be able to strap off on the middle of that and pull it this way to be able to attach everything off of the beam onto that. Yep. And hope everything doesn't just start falling this way with it. <laughs> I hope not, man. All this work. No, it should. It should uh, get pulled out pretty straight and pretty, pretty quick and easily. I mean, this is this is looking mighty dang straight right here. If uh, I do say so myself. Yeah, it definitely took some work in to get these boards straightened out, but I think that uh. I mean, I think it looks great. It looks mm -hmm. great from the position that I'm standing in. Yeah, we're going to have to mess with that post and all that stuff on the end when we get over there. Yeah. But it's looking really good. I'm, I'm happy with it. Well, friends, we are going to wrap this one up. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. Yes. Um, and uh, watching today's episode. We're going to get back at this thing bright and squirrely tomorrow morning um, yeah. and keep working on this thing as much as possible. So This wraps up today. Super happy about it. Yep. I'm super happy and thankful that you're okay. No, oh, thanks, babe. That scared me living to death. Like. I, I was, I was, yeah, so much adrenaline, oh, right? Like man. I was speechless. I was just kind of yep. breathing heavy, and yeah, it was, it was intense. Yes, it was intense. It was. But anyway, we're gonna wrap up today's episode, friends. Um, I want to say thank you guys so much for loving on us, for uh, caring about us, and our safety. Yes, we do take safety measures um, sometimes happens so it is what it is it is what it is unfortunately but yeah we will uh see you guys on another one yeah. <laughs> we'll be back at work later <laughs> so until the next one friends love y'all and hope you have a good one and we'll catch you on the next one bye you guys later later <laughs>